Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and welcome to the class spotlight for the Geomancer. This is also a special request tutorial for um, somebody requested a weather caster, uh, and I figured uh, this was about almost two weeks ago, so sorry for the delay, but uh, here we are with our, our Geomancer, as I dubbed it. Um, it's basically like a, a casting uh, a casting elemental wizard. So let's uh, learn our skills. So to to, um, to make this work the way that I've done it, you're going to need a few plugins. I'm going to put a link in the description below for all the plugins you need. You will need um, the Yanfly engine, the core engine. Um, you will need uh, the skill learning system, among a few others. I'll put them all in the description for you. So uh, we'll learn our skills here. Rubble, Gigavolt, Waterfall, Typhoon, Stone Cold, and Fuego. Forecast Rain, Forecast Sunny. You don't actually need to do these upgrade ones, but I have that system in play. Um, forecast Heavy Snow, Storm Wind, and our ultimate uh, Limit Break, Elemental Fury. So let me show, the, uh, show these skills to you in combat. So as you can probably tell, um, she can control the weather. So let's just fight uh, something and uh, I'll show you. So let's start off with Heavy Snow. So it doesn't do any damage, but it curses all of them with uh, weakness to cold damage. So they take twice the amount of damage from uh, all cold attacks. Not only her cold attacks, but uh, any cold attacks. So let's just use one of the cold attacks we got here. And I'm going to hold the inner button to speed it up. There we go. Let's try another forecast here. Let's do the sunny forecast. So the sunny forecast, sunny sky, will get rid of all weather effects. And it'll also impose a fire weakness uh, on all enemies. Because the sun is blazing down on them. So let's use our uh, Infuego fire attack. Take a look at uh, Stormwind. Stormwind is going to call forth a storm and uh, impose uh, wind weakness, so all enemies take twice uh, the damage from all wind attacks. So let's call a typhoon. And uh, the last elemental call that she gets is, did we do the snow? I think we did, uh, I think we did snow first and then we went there, so let's go see rain. So from storm and rain is not too much of a difference, but it'll impose a water weakness. So you can see that the, the lines going across, instead of going a little bit vertical, now they're slightly less vertical, now it looks more like rain. Uh, but that makes it so that uh, water does double damage. So let's use one of our water elemental skills. There we go. I'm gonna go here and uh, refill our <clears throat> HP and MP. I uh, missed a couple skills in that fight, so let's. Because uh, everything died too fast. So let's go ahead and fight something easy and just wreck them. So we did. I didn't show you rubble. So these things are strong to earth attack, but it should probably still kill them. Yeah, these these guys are really weak. Uh, and gigavolt. So she gets uh, six basic spells that you unlock with job points. So you will need the skill learning system, the job point system. I'm using the the new um, armor scaling. That's making the damages a lot more balanced. So that's all six of them, but uh, you also uh, have a leader state. If you've seen my other video on, on leader states, you can see that uh, how this operates. So I won't go into that too much, but I will show you the ultimate attack here. Uh, it'll probably not show all the attacks it's so strong, so we'll fight something else. Yeah, they died in one hit, so let me show that to you again. But also, you can use the weather control abilities outside of 
uh, combat as well. And it won't show the battle animation, but it'll control the weather. So if we want to make it snow or something, we can just call the, call the snow down anywhere we want. So let's fight something that can possibly withstand uh, three attacks. So we're going to uh, use our Elemental Fury. Now it's going to cost probably 175 or 100 um, TP to use, but uh, I put it at zero just for the video. That was actually perfect. Nice. And I created a new element for that. So that's the, the showcase. Now let me show you how I've done all that. So let's look at uh, the classes. We ca I called it a Geomancer, you can call it whatever you like. Um, giving it class C uh, on HP, class A on MP, class D on attack, class C or D, I think it's C on defense, uh, class A on magic attack, B on, uh, should be B, on uh, magic defense, uh, C on agility, and C on luck. <clears throat> Preserve TP on all my classes. Added a skill type uh, of elemental uh, elementalism. Go to types. Uh, where's it at? Here we go. Uh, skill types, elementalism. Um, created a new element called all elements because that last skill that we did, uh, elemental fury, is the all elements attack. So it has its own class for that skill. I might put some other skills in that class, uh, that type, but um, you'll have to, like I said, use the skill learning system. I'm going to be doing another tutorial on how to use the class change core with the skill learning system because I had some requests for that. So we'll all get into that uh, in that tutorial. This one might drag on. So um, as with, I do with most of my classes, I increase the critical rate from 4 to 5% and hit rate up from 95 to 96. But I might drop that to 95 on this one because she's so strong with her elemental attacks. But I'm going to leave it there for now. But I've added the skill type as I've done with all my classes just for other reasons. Uh, as you saw, she was able to increase her stats, and that's all under the skills. Experience curve 20 across, you'll change that for your game, I'm sure, and that's probably with the parameter curves as well. But uh, looking at the skills, the Elemental Fury, if you want to get this action sequence, basically copy-paste the Holy Circle one and uh, take out the, the states and change it so that instead of uh, adding a state, it's doing action effect. I don't want to spend too much time going through this, but if you're really clever, you'll be able to stop the, the game and, or stop the game, stop the, um, the video at just the right time to copy it if you want to. But your animations will be different. Um, for the formula, like I said, I'm using the um, armor scaling, so there's no minuses. Literally, literally took about 15 minutes to go through all of these skills and take out all the minuses, but it was worth it because it's, it's so much more balanced now. Uh, variance 25, yes, it can critical. I'm going to say that it's going to take probably 75 TP to use this uh, triple attack and I'm saying it's going to cast on all enemies battle screen only magical attack uh, I have no animation here because I'm using action sequence animations but you could throw one on there and, and get rid of the whole action sequence thing it's up to you um, let's take a look at some of the more basic skills before I get into the common event ones so um, our basic skills of like uh, uh, it's kind of just a simple uh, um, uh, magic attack, you know, a, a dot mat times eight, and one for Earth. You just give it an MP cost, give it an animation of Earth, and set the element to Earth. Do the same thing for the Thunder one. You can matter of fact, you can copy paste, change the graphic, change the name, change the element, and uh, you can design this one time and get all these. But uh, the animations are where you're probably going to spend the most time. So remember to copy paste what you can, and don't forget to change the elements. Um, now let's look at the forecast uh, spells. So we're going to cast forecast, forecast Rain, and it's going to do two things. It's going to add a state of Cursed, uh, and it's going to um, call on the Rain. So let's look at the state first, since that would be a little bit easier to do. Um, where's our Cursed states? So for your Cursed state, super easy thing to do. Check Remove at the end of battle. Um, I'm actually going to change all these to just eight turns across. I have them pretty lasting you know, for a long time. But uh, all you have to do is go into the traits, right click, and uh, go to element rate, and that'll be on, uh, oh, right up to the first thing on rate. Select the element that you want to curse to, and then multiply that number by 200%. That's going to double all the damage that you receive, or whoever is the target is going to receive while they're under this state. Really, really simple thing to make. 
uh, set it to turn end, and then however many turns you want, remove it at the end of battle. Priority 50 works fine. You can even put lower if you want to, depending on how many other states you're using. So let's look at that common event. When we use our skill, it's doing uh, the common event, and then it's throwing uh, the curse state. It doesn't matter what order these are in for this particular skill. Sometimes it does, but this time it doesn't. <clears throat> so, our forecast skills, uh, really simple common events. Basically, you're going to show an animation if you want to. Um, you can even show battle animation if you want to right here. But the only thing that you really have to do is do set weather effects. So that's pretty simple to do. Um, you just go to tab 2, set weather effects, set how strong you want it. You probably don't want wait for completion. Um, but you can do like 180 if you want it to just gradually go over 3 seconds. And as long as you're not checking wait for completion, it won't freeze your game for 3 seconds. It'll just gradually get stronger until it meets that power level. And uh, that's it. You just copy paste that and change the effect here for storm. And the same thing for the rain and the um, and the clear skies. You would just go to weather and set to none. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that is the uh, Geomancer uh, character class spotlight. Hopefully you guys liked, liked this video. If you did, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, really appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll be making another tutorial real soon on how to balance uh, your stuff, uh, your characters, using uh, some more VNFly scripts, the, um, the new class change for. So look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.